primary setup tool, which of course is not quite as potent. Ooh, the fourth smash is going to connect mm. consistently this game. Not going to be enough to kill, but quite close, and that is something that she really likes. Using the bomb to recover, is that and the down air, what the heck, Zork! On the next level right here, nice early combo coming out as well, 20%, and that heavy, heavy character right now, Link, not gonna die yet. Look at that, 150. All right, just gonna jab, build some damage, establish stage control, but what does Maruta have for this? A parry into down smash. All right, let's go, even game. Very well done right there. Maruta is gonna even up the stocks, but you know what Zork got right now? Blade Beans. Yes, he does. Zero percent adds another <laughs> projectile sword. to yep, Link's There you kit. go. And it's actually not the worst projectile in the world, but there's Maruta getting that first tick of percent. Fully charged needles. I wonder what he's going to do with those because I do feel like uh, she can do a lot of sneaky setups with those in this game. Because if you do aerial needles in this game, you have no landing lag. We're back to melee. Yes, yes. And that is definitely one of the sickest changes to this character. Yeah. Almost worth losing the forward throw, but maybe Almost. some Sheik players would disagree. <laughs> For their strings, the neutral are catching the errors right there. And Zork is going to happily take that trade, make it back to stage. Just barely in a down air. Whoa. Not going to kill. Still hanging on. Great DI there Ooh. from Maruta. Yep. Is going to make it back by the skin of his teeth. Dash attack. Ooh, yep. the presence of mind on Zork right there. Nice up B out of shield. Did not see that coming myself. Yeah, it's linked. By far, best out of shield punish tool. Actually, I, I think... Um, Nair out of shield is close yep. in frame data now. And yep. also, fun fact, since you don't have a tether or a Zare anymore, you no longer have to release the shield button before you Nair oh, out you of actually, shield. Actually, the funny thing about this game is because you can jump cancel shield drop frames, Yes, you can directional jump out of shield, and it also makes it easier to not Zare. Because right. you just drop your shield, then jump, then you can do a directional jump, which gives you more range on your arrows out of shield, yep. and it uh, avoids the, the Zare mess up. And you get an option select like parry. Yep, as that, well. that as well. Yep, you can cancel the parry lag, so to say, with yes, that jump. Yes, exactly. And I, I believe you made a tweet about that a while ago. I did, yep. yeah, just a few days ago. And that uh, mechanic, being able to jump out of shield uh, drop, drop frames, yep. is actually in every Smash game. Oh, really? I'm, I'm quite sure, yeah. I use it in Melee to uh, wave dash out of shield with one trigger. Fair enough, fair so, enough. Um, yeah, I love seeing some players, you know, just adjust on the fly, take advantage of the slight mechanic changes. Oh, the oh, read on zero the roll. To And he still got blade beams, bro. He still got those monster sword on deck. It's Link and I mean uh, Cloud and Snake Look all at in that. one. There we go. That's my shit. That <laughs> More is of those. Definitely a pretty solid thing to add, you know. Oh, it's by the way, Max, we're we're not we're not esports on this stream, so word we're not. <laughs> Well, she. <laughs> All right, nah, I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it esports for you guys just a little bit, but sometimes the goon side has to come exactly. out. Exactly. There we go. The jabs coming out, and Zork looking oh so dominant in this game. <gasps> no! oh, that was almost the sickest. But Zork a little bit slow in the trigger there, literally the trigger, because that down B did not explode on the combo there. The up B is gonna strike. True, look at that, Zork, all the control! Look at that! Yo, the arrow just to nudge it over to him, and then he detonates. Zork, uh, so far up right now. Let's see what he has to close this one out, man. I need to see something cool, because he set the bar very high. It's not about winning anymore, it's about how stylish of a combo he can pull off. And Sheik, not a character well equipped to make these three stock comebacks. And no, you not can just at all. mash buttons into her face, keep trading. And with the weight differential, with the kill power differential, it's going to get ugly real fast. Yeah, and Link having a normal grab, a big, big boon versus Sheik because she does negate tether grabs pretty much entirely. Yep. Having a normal grab definitely gives you that much stronger of a shield. Yeah, some matchups you kind of miss the tether. This one, definitely nah. not among them. Look at that, the bomb in Sheik's hand, but gonna get dropped. And fun fact, Link cannot detonate the bomb when his opponent is grabbing it. There's a forward there is gonna oh. close it out on Smashville, and a very, very confident three stock coming out right there. Zork, amazing Link, love that play right there. That honestly hurt to watch a little bit. And what I was talking about at the start of that set, I was saying I want to see him use more bomb. As soon as we saw that bomb come through in game two, Magic started happening. He was all over uh, Marita and just closed that out immediately with the Triforce of Courage on his.